Hello guys. So in this session, we are going to learn how to integrate SonarCube for Node.js with GitHub Actions. So as you know, in my previous video, we have learned how to integrate SonarCube for Gradle with GitHub Actions. So now we are going to learn integrate SonarCube for Node.js. So as you can see, this is my repository with the name integrate SonarCube for Node.js with GitHub Actions. And this is my Node.js project, right? Okay. So here, first of all, the file.npmrc, then readme.md file, this is default file, then index.js file. After that, package log.json file, and the next is package.json file, right? Okay. So now, so the first step is here, we need to create one more file here. So click on add file, create new file. And here we need to create new file with the name sonarproject.properties. And the code is here. So let's enter. Sonar project dot properties and the code is here. So first of all, sonar project key, uh, sorry, sonar dot project key. So here I'm going to enter NPM. So if you want, then you can replace with your project name, right? So here I'm going to enter NPM. Then pros, sonar organization. So my organization name is DevOps in, then sonar source, right? Okay. So let's add a file. Okay, it's done. Now the next step is we need to create Sonar token, right? So go to the Sonar uh, dashboard. This is my Sonar Cube dashboard, right? That we have installed in Ubuntu 22.04 LTS, right? So the instance is here. And this is my Sonar Cube dashboard. So here we need to create Sonar token. So as you know how to create, so go to the my account then security and here enter your token name so my token name will be npm and the sonar token type is user token click on generate sorry so first i'm going to change my token name so my token name will be node.js and now click on generate. Okay. So as you can see, new token Node.js has been created. So make sure you copy it now and you won't be able to see it again. So I'm going to copy my uh, Sonar token and now I'm going to create new secret on my GitHub action. Right. So go to the settings and let's create secret. So here, as you can see, as of now, we don't have any secrets. So click on new repository secret. And my secret name will be Sonar token. And enter my Sonar token. Click on add secret. And as you know, we need one more secret here. Sonar to host URL. So enter a name Sonar host URL. And now go to the Sonar cube dashboard and copy the HTTP yes here and paste it right so that's the sonar host you are now click on add secret so now as of now we have two secrets so if i scroll down you can see first sonar token and the other one sonar host url okay that's it now go to the code and now the next and last step is our workflow. So now we are going to create our workflow. So how to create, click on add new file, click create new file. And here, first of all, we need, a, we need to create folder with the name GitHub. Then in GitHub, we, we need one more folder with the name workflows. And after that, sorry. After that here, 
our YAML file. So my YAML file will be main.yaml. And here, let's create our YAML file. So here is my main file. So I'm going to use it. So let's understand one by one. So first of all, jobs. In job, my job name will be Sonar Cube. So first name Sonar Scan and runs on Ubuntu latest. After that, here we are going to use this action checkout repository. Then set up Node.js. So here I'm going to use this action set up Node version one repository. Then the Node version is 12. Then install dependencies. And then here, Sonar Cube Scan, the main an important step is Sonar Cube Scan, and here we are going to use this uh, repository. And after that, the Sonar token, right, that we have added in our secret, and then Sonar Host URL, right? Okay. Now let's commit new file. First of all, let's check in Sonar Cube. As of now, we don't have any project here, right? Okay. So now let's go to the actions. Now, as you can see, it's in progress. The status in progress, so let's check. So it takes few seconds, so wait for few seconds. So as of now, we don't have any project, as you can see here in Sonar Cube dashboard, right? So let's wait for few seconds. Okay, so it's almost done. Okay, it's done. Now, as you can see, our project, sorry, our job succeed. You can see succeed now in one minute, 22 seconds, right? Okay, so that means if I go to my Sonar Cube and refresh the page, here is our project with the name NPM. Why NPM? Because my project key name is NPM, right? If I go to my code and go to the sonar proper project dot properties file, and if I check here, sonar project key name NPM, right? So that's why my project name is NPM. If you want to replace, then you can replace from here. Right. So if you don't have any uh, Node.js project, then you can clone my repository and use it. Right. So that's the NPM. You can see the details of NPM. Right. So yeah, it's done. So in this session, we have learned how to integrate SonarCube for Node.js with GitHub Actions. So thank you for watching.